called Blaine Gray here, Plastering Beginners, and today is a big day. Um, we're talking about a subject I've never covered before. I've never even done it before this video. I'm basically going to do some spray plastering. Um, I've been put through a course with Knauf, and um, I'm going to go through the whole process and how to spray plaster a wall. And um, I'll be honest, I was very surprised by how well this went. I was dubious about the finish. I was wondering how it worked, work, whether it'd be easy to do, but I'll be honest, this is an absolute game changer. It, I'm not going to say too much because the footage just gives it away. Um, I went in training, it was down in Kent, so I had a bit of driving to do. But it is an abs it's quite exciting, I must admit. It's a very exciting process. This training is going to come in two parts um, because it was quite long, actually. I, filmed, I managed to film quite a lot of it. There's one thing, there's one footage where I didn't realise the lights. One footage when I talk about the the big hopper, the machine that you use to spray it, where it's flickering a little bit. That is the only clip that does it, so bear with me. And I was going to get rid of it, but you don't really, you want to see this machine and you want to see how good it is. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the full process spray plastering and talk about how this could be the future. So let's just get to it. Right, this is by far the scariest thing I've ever done. Look how tight this is. It's like trying to squeeze in a bottle. Christ almighty. Got another one in a minute. It only dropped off for a cup of coffee. Wish I never did it. Look at this. Look at this. It might not look that tight. It's because I'm not a good driver. Look at this. Holy schmeagle. I'm literally clipping the sides here. There's too much that. Too much. Hello? Where are you? We can get in. Let's get this gig started. Ooh. Right, go in and visit her. Let's do this dance. Okay, so just got here. And we're taking as much footage as we can. And I'm going to give a brief introduction into spray plastering. Again, this is totally new to me. Never done this before. So what I'm going to do is just hone in and try and get as much details from your man from the training center and just give a brief introduction on spray plastering and then hopefully in the future take this further but let's see let's see if we can give you a backstage pass i'm going to see how far i can go and you'll be following me see you in a bit hey so i'm in the back the thing with the airless spray plaster and i will say this straight away is you do have to fill your joints before you do it this is going to put a lot of people off but i guarantee that when we see how this works we're going to be pleasantly surprised so Here's the machine, here's the bad boy, and here's our man Chris. And talk you us through it. Gonna talk you through it. So, Cracker Mark 5 machine, this is the hopper. Mm -hmm. This is the machine. This hopper will carry about five to six bags of material. Simply, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually load the hopper, show you how easy it is instead of you guys mixing. We're gonna grab the bag, and we always load the bag a certain way. Uh huh. So we always use the handle this end. Yeah. And the valve end goes into the mangle. Okay. There's dry material in the valve end and you don't want to cut it the other way around because you might end up with that dry material. Ah, right. So you can, it's clearly shown as well. Uh, to yeah. Do. Oh yeah, push yeah, it okay. tight. The new bags will have a dotted line across. Okay. Um, on the next production, I believe. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Well, you're, uh... Yeah, got all your gear in there. Spare tips, filters if you're spraying paint. Right, yeah, That yeah. sort of thing. Bits to clean tips. Mm -hmm. Throat seal for the machine has to lubricate the piston. Okay. So I'm just going to put a small cut in there, and then you'll watch me. This is me. Instead of me mixing, this is all I'm doing now. <laughs> it's a game changer. <laughs> That's it. So that bag itself can go in any way skip now. It doesn't yeah. have to be a gypsum way skip. So that stuff's done. Brilliant. There is a few things we might want to do. So we might want to clean that. Yeah. So Graco supply a tool specially designed to go between the rollers to clean it off. Yeah. We don't want to waste none of that. No. So all I'm going to do is just get a wet brush, nice and clean one, not covered in dirty gypsum stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to make sure that's all nice and clean. Probably stow it back. Right. Simple as that. That's, uh, that was easy. <laughs> it is, yeah. So to yeah. operate the machine now, yep. what we would do, um, normally, it's in two states. It's either the machine has got water in the hose mm -hmm. when you've cleaned it. In this case, at this point in time, we've actually got material in the hose. So okay. one or the other. Okay. So in theory, the beauty of this is 
We can load this up. Yep. We've got a big site, we're on a big job. We load it up with a max capacity of five bags. We're done for the day. Yep. We stop. Yep. Go on, yep. pack our stuff. That's it. Depressurise the system, make sure there's no pressure built up still inside the, the hose case summit for health and safety yep. reasons. You would probably store the tip in a certain position so no air gets to it. So we'd yep. store the tip with the arrow facing that way. Yeah. You can put that in a bag or tip that part into a, a bucket of fresh clean water. That's all yep. I want you to do. Make sure the safety's on. That's it. You come That's in the it. next day, turn it on, run it through like that. Yeah. Turn it to spray. Turn the speed controller up, it builds pressure back up and you're ready to spray. That's Literally it. no downtime, you come in, start. Straight away. Amazing. It's amazing, That's yeah. The real good benefit to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all good. Yeah, so machine's all primed, ready to go. Yeah. Safety's on, on the gun, safety's there. Yeah. What we'd normally do is we do the ceiling first, so we, we overlap each pass by 50% and we come down three to 400 millimetres. Yeah. So we come down. So therefore, when we go back to do the wall, we're not going back to the wet corner, or wet on wet. I'm with you. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we would do that all the way around the whole ceiling. I'll do a little bit of demonstrate, then you can have a go. And in a minute, what we do is we do the wall. Yeah. 50% overlap. The same with the corner. When we run into the corner, we bring it round. Yeah. We come back to the corners normally within about 30 minutes, I'll say. Okay. With a twitcher. Let it stiffen up. Yeah. You tweak the corners. Yeah. When you come back to this wall, all you're doing is then going back up this element and working across. You're not going back into the wet corner. Because you've done that. You've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm with you. Whatever uh, you take off can go back in the offer. Let's see what this baby does. Yeah, but there is. Plenty of gear up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. And it's it's almost smooth already, isn't it? I'm yeah, surprised by. Yeah, you can put a finer tip in and you can actually spray concrete. Right. Leave it as it is, a lot of customers like that spray. Right. With that sort of ripply sort of texture look. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. You can see it there. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a lot of options for it, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So, so they just leave it like that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it dries really well. That's, that's the money making machine. Previously decorated <laughs> surfaces. That's yeah. Your, that's your little tip on previously decorated surfaces as like a, a backing coat, if you like. Okay. Spray it on, don't level it. Yeah. And that's what I would do. Because saying this, for anyone who doesn't know, you can literally start using this on a pre decorated, pre done wall straight away without any PVA, yeah, no correct. backing. Literally yeah. come in the room, spray it up, yeah. don't you? Yeah, if, if you want to give yourself a bit of a head start and you're not sure how it's going to react, put some of this product straight in the wall, double level it, leave it, and then use that as your backing or your binding. Yeah, Perfect. and that'll take the abuse. Really, yeah, really nice. Oops. I said you about blockages. Yeah, got we've got one, that's good. Well, right, let's, so let's see how you clean it then. <laughs> this here, so I can't turn the tip because there's too much pressure on. Yeah. So first thing I'll do, turn the power down, dump the material. Yeah. The pressure's gone. Then I should be able to. What, just turn the, the power down to? Just off. Because the pressure's pushing against the Ah, tip. so you can't take the tip off? No, I yeah, take tip off. I'm so with you. All of them, turn it around. Let's turn the power back on. Got rid of it. So, that's. Job done. I will apologise, it's probably some, yeah. some rubbish that I'm not playing down. No, to that's it's good to see. So, I've got a record at least. Back to it. Sometimes on the end of your first coat, yeah. go the opposite way as well. So okay. I've gone that way. Right. Yeah. It. I'm ready to go. We use Thanks. that one. We've got the spat now, yeah? We get the spat out on what you've just sprayed. Yeah, this is, this is a Rafina, isn't it? The Rafina uh, yeah, Gold Spat. It's, it's similar to Rafina. This one's actually branded a canal one, which we're uh, trying at the minute. Oh, is this your own? Yep. Ah. Okay. So then, is this um, is this a semi flexible one then, or? Yeah, this is very flexible. So the blade thickness themselves are probably around about 0.3 of a millimetre. 
But we don't have to worry about any tiger stripes, no, anything like that. No, so in between coats, you can leave those sort of things. You can sand it if you do desire to. Yeah. The system's designed to be sanded anyway. That's how you get the speed. That's how you get 250 square meters a day. Okay. Here's a sanding system. So 250 square meters a day people are getting, yeah? It's impressive. That is literally it. So I'm not working it. No. I'm just moving it, levering it, and leaving it. And that is it. Yeah, because it's quite wet on the first coat, we can we can let it pull in a little bit and, and muck around, and titillate a little bit more in a minute. But because it's predominantly quite a wet product, I would sometimes, my recommendation, we leave it on the ceiling, leave it on the wall on your first coat, probably yeah. for about three minutes before you start playing with it. I mean, we'll just okay. go straight on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good bit, so we've got a bit of... Yeah, nice bit of fat. So where have we put that? So, we don't like to waste any product. <laughs> So there's literally no way to so just throw it back in, right back in and it's fine to use. Yeah. So nice. Right. So that done. So we can use this again to do the downstroke on the wall, but let's, I'm going to use the trowel. Let's show the trowel now. Okay. Worst coat is the first coat. Worst coat is the first coat, yeah? Because you're looking at it wet and it looks weird and you just think, oh, yeah. I'm feeling it. It feels like a wet product. It's, if you're a plaster, it takes you a little while to get used to that feel of. And this is what the problem is is getting used to the new system. You've just gone with your flexi, eh? Yeah, so I'm going with a flexi. There's been more prep been done here in terms of one coat over the tapes. Um, I think the, the vertical worms had another coat put over it. But yep. it hasn't. I spray that quickly yep. prior to spraying the wall just to give it a bit of volume. We'll show that in a minute. Yeah. Really the product has got a certain amount of self-leveling capabilities as well. So yep. there's little bits that will self-level. Right. But don't be too primed about leaving a little trail line. That is literally flat within one pass, isn't it? Yeah, so you're not like the usual sort of moving it around. You no, just, no. Oh, no just, just, just do it once. And that's it? Yeah, and there's different tools you can use. So you can use spats, speed skims, um, flexi trails. Yeah. Don't use a laying on trail. No, it's too rigid. Too, too rigid? Yeah. Too rigid, you won't get, you won't, you won't be able to do it. So. Because at this moment, this is only thin, isn't it? It's very thin, yeah. But you can see how quick it starts to pull in. So we just sprayed that wall. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, my blade. Yeah. Ah, oh, and it is. I'm at a point now where I can't do much more with so it. So actually, we've left that a bit too, too long. Yeah. So you want to whack it on, wait three minutes, flatten up. Perfectly. And then that's it. First coat done. Done. First coat, over. Right, <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Let's show you the wall. So he's going to show us two tips. Well, I'll probably show you one now, one later. <laughs> keep us coming. I've got to keep it interesting. <laughs> yeah, these viewers are fussy, mate, I'll tell you. <laughs> so if this was only a standard joint that's been filled, so just once over, yeah? Once over, and you've got a little bit of a concave element to it because it's a tapered edge board. And you've yeah. got some suction and curl, which is normal for majority material. Yeah. Always spray a bit of material up that, that element first. Okay. So all I would do, give it a wipe. Yeah. Give it a little bit of gear. So don't wait, just straight away? Straight away. Yeah. All I'm doing is, so it's like dubbing out, really. You know, right, you, okay. Just doing a bit of dubbing out. Like you would skim in, you just fill your joints. Yeah. Let that pull in. Yeah. Because you've got something already there, that will pull in fairly quick. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's just helping you guys out massively. Right. Do that, let it pull in for a couple of minutes, then continue with the walk. Right. You'll be fine. That Brilliant. Is, that is one tip that's a really useful We look forward to tip number two. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to whack the rest of the wall on now. Yeah. We're yeah, going to see how fast it is. Yeah. I'll move this out of your way.
So according to the GoPro, that took you 44 seconds to put that on. <laughs> too long. Too long. Try to take your time. 44 seconds. Well, if that was hand applied, what do you reckon? Four minutes? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe. The good thing about this is once you've done that, you wipe it, you move on to the next section, and you just keep moving around. And that's and that, it. That's that, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. There's no there's no coming back like you would skim in seven passes. No, it's volume. You're just gonna get round it quick, up and over. So, so now, would you use your, um, would you prefer yeah, to use your trowel for this one? Uh, it doesn't matter, as long as it's flexible, yep. we'll go, we do half the wall with this and do half the wall with the speed skin. Okay, good. Cool. Uh, and all I'm doing is I'm going up, yep. and I'm running it into yep. the areas above. Okay, so it, it, it does blend into yeah. itself nicely. It goes to zero, yeah, it goes to zero. Right. And if it doesn't, it's easy to sound, so simple to sound if you need to, it's designed to sound, obviously. So there's a few little bits and pieces I can see that I'm, I'm just trying to work with as I go. Yeah, you're just filling. And I'm not really spending much more time on it than that. No. And I'm not really worried if I miss a few bits, because we get get those little bits on the second coat. So this is just the first, don't have to be too too crazy about it. Yeah. And again, there's quite a lot on the wall, so let's go to the speed skim. Yeah. Again, I'm putting it back in the offer. And to be fair, you've not waited at all, have you? No. No, I'm not really waiting about too much. So he's got the bad boy. We've got this one. Again, it doesn't matter if I start from the corner or if we work across or yeah. bring it from the top down and from the bottom up. It's literally, I'm not moving it around too much, I'm just wiping it. Yeah. A lot of pressure? Quite a bit of pressure, yeah. Don't be frightened to push on a bit with it. Yeah. Unlike with gypsum, yeah. with gypsum, you want to try and move it around and get it all on the wall. Yeah. Don't be frightened to take a bit off and put it back in the oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't be frightened to do that. Okay, so that's it. That's all, right. all I need to do. Right. First coat, it's done. <laughs> first coat, done. Scary. <laughs> right, so everyone knows my first go. So don't laugh, you can if you want. So, distance roughly like that. Looks good. Yeah. Has he got the uh, safety on? Yeah, yeah. Sure. this is take 962, we've <laughs> taken <laughs> the safety off. So push, right. it, push it forward with your right. finger, so it's got a little spring, goes forward on both sides. So oh, thumb yeah. and finger, oh, yeah, yeah. and then it'll flick round. Oh, that's yeah. it, yeah, you're yeah. good to go. Okay. Good to go. Take 1002, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Cool. Cross, yeah? yeah, so go across. That's, a joke, that's, that's, that's good, but what I wanted you to do is just drop, drop, oh. it, down, drop it down a little bit. So you can blend that in now, just come down 300 mil. It's good. Yeah? Good. Natural? <laughs> it's fine, perfectly fine. Yeah, no drama. Right? Yeah, but it's very easy, isn't it? Very I was easy. Surprised. I was expecting it to no. be a bit cumbersome, but it's easy no. to direct. Quite easy to control. It really yeah. is. So yeah. put the safety back on, and then what we do is we'll we'll have a little feel for what's going on. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll... Oh, I'm filming here again. <laughs> All right. That's it. I won't try and overdo it. No. That's uh, easy, easier than a thought. Will you get the twitch on in a bit? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a twitcher on it. Flat the tops? Flat the tops. Yeah. Drawn that off up. Yeah, I'm yeah. always small, mate. Uh, yeah, this might be, might be too small. <laughs> okay, so I'll let that come on. Do That's it. Know? Have a feel of it. It's all about a feel at this point in time. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's very, it's quite smooth. It's quite smooth, yeah, you just need to wipe down, wipe down and move along, you don't have to keep going. It's a tiny bit wet, oh no, I've got that It on. is, yeah, it it's always feels probably worse on the first coat because... Does it? Yeah, because it, 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 it's a wet material, you're trying to do a lot of work now, yeah. and there's a plaster, the plasters, what they tend to do is they tend to overwork it, and all you need to do is just wipe down, wipe and down, it's wipe like down. Any, it's like working with gypsum, if it's, you're not going to get it flat if it's wet. No, but don't be frightened to take some off. 
right. that's not a problem. Whereas what you're doing is you're working with what you've got and you're leaving it so on. I've got to be pulling really, I've got to be dragging it down. Like that's that. it, you've got to be a bit more, don't be frightened to push on as we would say. So actually pressure is better yeah. in this instance would you say? Yeah, a bit more pressure and anything that comes off we ain't got a problem with that, it goes back in the offer. I'm with you. So yeah. actually we want to be pushing, dragging it down. That's it, that's it. You've got a fair bit of material up there to be fair. So Have I put too much on? Probably a little bit too much, yeah. So as you get used to using the system more, you probably put less on, so you're not working it as much as you are. Cause you, right. Whereas I'll just move it once, move, once and move, once yeah, and move. See. I wouldn't even worry about them bits. It's too much, it's too thick, if anything. Too thick, yeah. Okay. And then you can see the importance of just getting that, that uh, preparation right yeah, as well. Keep this. keeping everything under, not over. So I see it perfect now. So you're on it now. Look, look how quick that is now. So we're going to do the rest of the wall, aren't we, Chris? We are indeed. Start the bottom. Quick enough? Good. Yep, good. Happy? I think so. What's your, what's your weapon of choice? I don't know, I'm gonna... You're gonna go for the trowel? Yeah. Or the skin? I don't know, do you know what? I'm not going to go in the spat yet. So I'm going to go back Going for the spat. It's going for, it's going for the cheek. <laughs> so you wouldn't come into the... You can, you can come off the dry, because it's quite dry there, so I'd come off the dry bit onto the wet bit. No. Yeah. Yeah, it should feel okay. So would you say that's a bit thin? A little bit, but... Well, it's okay for the It's okay, yeah, get it on. So what? pressure. Nice bit of pressure. We'll come back to it and we'll have a look at what it looks like as it starts to obliterate. It's a bit like emulsion as well. Yeah. You know, as that obliterates, this does the same sort of thing as a filler. Right. As a plaster. So it, it always looks a bit weird. You can see the joints for it. And as it starts to change colour, you start to see... Oh, actually, the whole wall's now exactly the same colour as it yeah. starts to dry. So, be interesting to see what that looks because like. Because it's the first coat we've got to give. Yeah, yeah. You're not taking a lot off now either, which is good. So... I think I've gone stingy this time. I think you have gone the opposite, yeah. But it's not a bad thing. It's like it's me spending out on it today, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> You're in control, though. You're in control of it. I'm, I'm learning. I've got a drag mark there. I'll try and get that out. Better with the speed skin, quicker. It's lovely, isn't it? I was going to say, it's a very nice natural, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I think you're a lot quicker with that. Mm. Oh, not. Well, I said that. I heard it. I, I, I heard it catch. It. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry too. Don't be frightened to push on a bit. If you've got a little bit of a, a weird bit on a joint there where it needs dubbing out a bit more. Because we didn't dub those joints out, did we? Yeah, no, we didn't. No. Well, but we, we get it on the second coat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd get it on the second coat. No problem at all. So that's the importance of just giving those joints a little bit of a blow up before yeah. spraying. Just if it's not your jointing, yeah. I'd always do that. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Alright. Happy with that? I'm Any happy. tips? Be critical. Always keep an eye on the drying edge of the on here because it's as as you can see on down that long edge, you probably can't see there. Yeah. That on there will start to dry. If it, it dries affect. too quick, it'll affect, it'll drag through there and you'll put scratch marks into it. Yeah. So keep this clean all the time. Yeah. Normally, typically, the guys that do one or two passes, clean it off with another tool, right. and then go again. Yeah. Just, and it, if you're too far away from the hopper, just put the excess material in a bucket, and then take it, and then take it back right. to, the, to the machine, yeah. And then in a the room, that's probably best, if your hopper's in the other area, collect it, and then that way you're always saving time, aren't you? Yeah, Part exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very quick, very, very quick. So we're happy with that as a first coat. We're gonna yeah. keep an eye on this. Yeah. We're, not, we're not going to do anything with it, we're just going to let it start to pull in naturally so you can see the colour change. Yeah. And then I'll show you what we could do if we wanted to speed things up with airflow with a fan. Cool. So this is the first coat dried up. He's just whacked his monster fan on it. <laughs> but you can see the difference, wait, it didn't look like before there was anything on it. It has actually got. Yeah, yeah. You can see a few bits where we've not well, that, got product on there. But well, it's... that's the first coat. Yeah. Naturally. Not too bad. That's uh, 
So airflow is important for drying. If you want to yep. dry and move it on, don't apply any heat, just airflow. Yeah. Cold airflow or open your windows, open the doors, let it free. And that's it, it'll dry quite nicely. And that's it. And then you'll end up with something beautiful like that. Yeah, let's have a look at that one. You can still see it's still a bit of a different colour from what was dry to what was wet there. Yeah. So again. Mate, it's actually dry, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's dry, isn't it? Huh. That's mad. Very good product. Yeah. Look forward to using it in the future. Good stuff. <laughs> that was it. What do you reckon? It's a bit of a game changer that, isn't it? You literally spray it on, flatten it off. So that was a full process on the first coat. As you can see, it is quite exciting. So that's part one. Please leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe because part two, we're talking about finishing it, finish the product, getting a second coat on and the finish is, is amazing too. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and please do it. We're gonna go cover all aspects of plastering in this, um, in this channel. So yeah, feel free to watch it. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Have you done it before? Is it exciting? Is it is it a game changer? Or is it something that you'd think there's no point doing? Let me know what you think in the comments. And remember, subscribe for video too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.